Welcome to Watercolor Techniques with Jane. Today we're going to do a wet into wet background that will highlight some anthurium that are growing in the foreground. Um, so we're going to do wet into wet, we're going to do some ultramarine blue with some um, uh, hooker's green light and a little bit of cadmium yellow. Hope you enjoy this. Anyway, so the first thing we have to do is um, wet the back of the, the background of the paper. So you have to wet all the way around the edge of the flowers and the leaves. Um, so for, to go around the edge, you have to maybe use a little flat head brush like this. See how I'm going around the edge of where the flower is? Uh -huh. Yeah. Okay. Um, so that all has to be wet and then the rest of the background has to be wet. So um, you have to first, I like to go first of all around the whole edge of the flower. Okay. Is there a flat brush that I can use? Mm -hmm. Does it look like there is one? Yeah, that short one right there. That one just so? Yeah. Please, thank you. Okay, so we're just wetting like the whole background, right, Jane? Yeah, we're going to wet the whole background, but we have to kind of um, save the stems and the leaf are not such a problem because we're going to do green down the bottom, so it'll be okay. But where the pink uh, is uh -huh. um, and the orange, you have to go around that. You know what I mean? I do. So with the flower heads. The flower heads, the stamens. Is that the little bulbous thing? Yes, those are stamens. Um, and then I have a bigger brush. See this bigger brush here? Yeah. Um, and that's what I use to do the background. It's easier. See if I can um, does the water have to be like pooling or does it just so have the paper when you look at the wet paper it should glisten in the light so wet but not with huge puddles okay yes yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. okay and this technique I don't know if you guys have done this before but this technique is called wet into wet uh-huh and if you hold the paper up you can see if it's i mean you can't see in mine but if you hold your paper up you can see if it's shining and you if it's not shining in a specific area it means it's not wet uh -huh. um, and you'll you'll be able to see where your flowers are because they will not be shiny. Right. Yeah. Makes sense. Okay. And then um, once you have it wet, you have to mix up mix up some wet paint. So we'll do the same as that background. So it'll be blue, whatever blue you have on your palette. So you need to mix up mix up some blue. I have ultramarine blue. And then you also need to mix up some green. Okay. And I have hooker's green light. Oh, I have that. I have the other things. <laughs> and you might want to just Put a dab of um, yellow in with that green if you have some. Okay. Okay. And uh, you should also have some paper towel. If you don't, get some paper towel because you might need it. Yeah, oh yeah, we have some. Okay. Right, so um, now I'm going to try and demonstrate this. All right, so 
Now I've got, I'm putting blue on my brush. Pretty intense. See that? And yeah. I'm go around the stamen. And because you left the flower head dry, the paint should go around the edge. And I try to keep my brush strokes going in the same direction. If you have some going up and some going down, it, it you can actually see that when it's finished. But I'm um, we're also going to do I don't know. Do you want to do salt on this today? Yeah, that, sure. That might be fun. Yeah. Do you have um, a salt shaker there somewhere? Yeah. yeah. Sure, we do. We can sprinkle it on our fingers or something. Yeah. And then I'm going to change over to the green. Yeah, make some color. Right, and you so can let the green blend in with the blue. Blue? Yeah. And see, I'm painting right over the leaves. The leaves uh, yeah. and the stems. So we're gonna do a mix of blue and green. Yep, blue. Is it gonna be dark? Well, it, it's uh, it's gonna turn out lighter, but you can... oh, Jesus! What bird keep on hitting our window. Is that a bird? Yeah, oh. it was that that red bird. Oh no! And it just flew away. <laughs> that was a snowball. That happened. Damn. That happened yesterday. Yeah. Oh, poor thing. It's so clean when I come in. It's not even oh. No, it's not even clean. Look, you left a mark, Mom. Where? Oh, I did. <laughs> There's a feather on the window. Yeah. yeah. It is. So um, now, I, I, so once you have all the the paint, the background covered, you have to wait just a little bit because um, it has to dry just a little before you put the salt on. Oh, we're putting salt right on there, huh? Yeah. Okay. These paintbrushes are getting hair on my paper. I know. What do you do about the paintbrush that leaves hair on your paper? If you, um, if that's the case, when it dries, that hair will come right off. Oh, okay. So don't worry about trying to pick it out. And and that's a sign that those are probably um, inexpensive. Cheaper ones, right? Yep. Yeah. El Cheapos. Yep. Well, should I should just blend together, huh? Yeah, you don't have, it doesn't have to be. So now I'm getting some salt. I got a lot of salt, but you don't. So you get a little, like a pinch of salt and you sprinkle it, sprinkle it all over. Like that. And then as it dries, that salt will have a chemical reaction with the paint. It will push the paint away and make like little blossoms all over the place. That's so cool. I've been so doing we be like, like we should be like dotting it or like swirling it or Say again? How, do you, how do you like apply the the blue and the green, can you like dot it or do you swirl it or does it matter? No, I just, I just painted it. Just painted I mean, it. like straight across, just painting straight across. Oh. And then I, I dab some yellow into it. Oh, so yellow with the blue and the green. Yeah, I dab right, right in there. I mean, you can also take another small one and just add in some darker color if you want. See how I'm doing that? Can you see that? No. Now you can. Okay, I'm so I've got a, a round brush and my, my painting is still not dry. See how that blossoms out? Uh, yeah. Can you see it? Yeah, I can see it. See that? It just takes off on its own. Yeah. 
I don't really, it, this is a, a totally uncontrolled background. <laughs> yes, I love that, okay. Don't you oh. mind me. Well, Miss Dripping on me. Sorry. She's dripping on me. Oh. Sorry, I forgive you. Okay. Thank you. Um, you are. Uh, you are. Now, if you went into your lead a little, that's okay, right? It, yeah, it's okay. It's all good. There's nothing wrong about what we do with this. <laughs> Except if you create mud, you have to be careful not to mix the colors too much. Right. That's never good. So if you want it more vibrant, you can just- Can I have a paper like towel, Mom? Actual paint on your brush, right? Yeah, yeah, that's what I'm doing now. I'm adding a little bit more darker blue and I added some more darker green. Yes, ma'am. Sure. Oh, that's really pretty, girls. Thank you. Nice job. This looks so good. I like this one. I like it. So after the wet, into wet is dry, you can then go into the flowers and do some dry brush work with cadmium yellow and permanent rose. Uh, cadmium mellow and permanent rose make a beautiful orange and so this is um, what you would do to paint the flowers and then you can paint in the stems using the hooker's green light and um, also the leaf um, is done with hooker's green light. Um, I usually add a little bit of yellow to hooker's green light. It tends to be a little intense and when you add a little bit of cadmium yellow it um, turns out to be a really pretty green. Um, so, Hope you enjoyed this. Please subscribe to us and have a great day.